Hi and welcome to a quick demonstration and explanation of how generators work. First things first, I'll start off by breaking down Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction states that whenever the magnetic field in the region of a conductor is moving or changing in magnitude, electrons are induced to flow through the conductor. This is also known as the generator effect. As you can see there, I've got a small diagram featuring like a moving magnet, which induces electron flow in the coil. The generator being used in this demonstration features an LED bulb joined to a conductive wire that's wrapped around a tube. Within the tube, neodymium magnets are mounted onto a nail that rotates. Before I jump into my demonstration, I'll explain electromagnetic force, which is the potential difference, or voltage, produced between terminals by electromagnetic induction. When the magnets begin to rotate, the electrons flow through the coil, creating voltage and current within the conductor. As you can see, I've got my generator here with magnets mounted on the nail as well as an LED bulb connected to a connective wire. As the magnets begin to rotate, uh, electrons begin to flow through a conductive wire, thus lighting the LED bulb. Now that you know how generators work, let's look at some real life applications. Generators not only power your house, but they're also used to generate electricity in an industrial setting. Larger generators like this one apply the same principle as the smaller one used in the demonstration. However, instead of using magnets, electromagnets are used and high current conductors. To rotate the electromagnets, turbines or internal combustion engines are used rather than me just turning it. All generators connected to the electrical power grid must have the same frequency, voltage, and phase. This is known as synchronization. Stay tuned for more physics-related videos.